Hi everybody. A lot of people have been asking me this question. How do you clean your shell casings? For example, I have uh, five 303 shell casings and two 30 cal shell casings. As you can see, they are very dirty. Look at that. And if you're just gonna clean this uh, with a brush, you're never gonna get it completely clean. So um, now I'm going to show you my very, very simple but very effective way to clean them. The only thing you need is this, some nice warm water or hot water. Um, I like to use warm water because um, yeah, then the dirt melts very nicely. So uh, what we're gonna do, just gonna dump them inside there. And the next thing you need is steel wool. I always buy these in the supermarket. They are normally to clean uh, cooking pans and stuff like that, but they work very, very nice for uh, relics and stuff like that. So uh, first I'm gonna take out the dirt. Just use something, it doesn't matter what, everything that fits. Make a hole right there and just get all the dirt out like that. Shake it a little. That works very nice and easy. See, there we go. And do that with every single shell casing. There's a lot of dirt in this one. Just keep doing this and it will come out together with the water. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this over here. It's gonna take one shell casing and we're gonna start cleaning. You're just gonna use this. You can't see anything right now, but if we're gonna use this right now, as you can see, it's working. Never uh, push too hard on this part right there because it's, uh, there is a chance that this is going to break. So be careful. Use some water again and just keep rubbing. And now if we're gonna clean it a little bit like that, you can see stuff right there. As you can see, it says 1943. A very nice shell casing fired by the brand gun. Now we're gonna clean the sides. Just like that, and like I said before, never push too hard on that part. Be very careful with that. Get some water on your steel wool. And guys, this is also pretty handy. You're gonna get all these small pieces of iron as you can see from the steel wool. I always use a magnet for that. Look at this. And it's gone. So that's, uh, that's pretty handy. And of course, not all shell casings are in uh, the best condition, so sometimes um, it's better to not clean them because it will, uh, it will get holes in them and stuff and uh, the rims will fall apart because they are in very bad condition. But as you can see, these ones are in pretty good condition. Just keep doing this. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Only clean this part, not that part. All right, if you wanna clean this part, you're gonna use this, just put it inside like that and turn it around like you're diffusing a bomb on Call of Duty. <laughs> well, that works. Don't push too hard, very carefully. And as you can see, it's getting nice already. There we go. That's nice and shiny. And then this part, the same for that. This is not gonna break, of course, but it's just uh, the best way to do it. Got some dirt off that steel wool again. All right, that looks nice. Just gonna clean the, the hat stem some more. There we go. I'm just gonna use this to clean it completely. As you can see, still dirt coming off. And there we go. Take a look at that. A very, very nice shell casing. Now let's do the same with the 30 cal. As you can see, it's still very, very dirty. We're just gonna start with the, the bottom. 
can already see that this one was made by RA and it says 1942. Haha, <laughs> perfect. All right, now I'm gonna show you the hat stamp. RA 1942. Now we're gonna clean the sides. Be careful with these uh, 30 cals. These break very easily. Put it in the water again. And it's already working. It's already nice like this, but let's just do a little more. The more you do this, the more it will shine. Put some water on it again. And the same as uh, for the uh, 303. Clean this like that, put it in there and just turn it around and do not push too hard. Still a little bit dirty, as you can see it's darker colored as, uh, as this part. So we still need to do some more. That looks fine. Now we're gonna clean the bottom, that rim right there. There we go, that's enough. A little more on the hat stamp, put it in the water to clean the dirt off, and then we're gonna dry it again, like that. And there we go, look at that. Another very, very nice shell casing. Look how it shines. There you can see the hat stamp, RA 1943. Fantastic. And that's the same for all shell casings. All right, as you can see, they are very nicely cleaned right now. now look at that, very nice and shiny. Let's start with this. As you can see, this one says RA 1943, and it's in a very nice condition. Then we have another 30 cal. This one says DEN 1943, also in very good condition. Then we have this 303. This one says K5 1942, and it's fired by a rifle, as you can see, the Lee Anfield. And we got this one. This one says CP44. And this one, RG, and very nicely dated 1942. This one, also in very good condition. As you can see, this one is made by BE 1943. And then we have my favorite one. This one is from 1943, and as you can see, it's been fired by the Bren gun. You can see that by the primer, it's a small stripe. But this one is pretty interesting. As you can see, it says a U. And this one is from the Kimberley factory. This one is from South Africa. Um, and as you can see, right over there is a small diamond. And um, yeah, this is a very special one. Very cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.